Hey guys, uh, we come a long way in this series, and this is going to be the last video, I believe. I may add another one if I come up with an idea for one, but um, I think this will be it. So, we are going to be making a shape from a path today. Um, and, let's see. It's called an SK shape node. So we'll start with that. Node is equal to, and we're not gonna actually create anything, so we're just gonna allocate the memory for it and then use it later. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, we're going to make a CG mutable path reference called path. Yeah. And we are going to run the function CG path create mutable. And then we're going to say CG path move to. is going to be path null um, we will have the origin at 200 200 and then we're going to eg path add come on to point. Sorry. Um, path null and then we'll say 250 250 and then CG add line to point path null and then 200 300. We're making a diamond here. Uh, copy and paste this, and then 150, 250, and back to 200, 200. So we have this path now. Um, that has nothing to do with Sprite Kit, really. That you can use that without Sprite Kit. Um, that's just creating a path. Um, and now we're going to use that path that we created to um, fill this, or to create this, sh this shape node. So, node.path is equal to path. That's very simple. And then ball, or node.fillColor is equal to SK color. We'll say blue, or I like orange more. More visible. And that should be good. Actually, we need to say self add child ball or node. Sorry, I just read a tutorial on how to make a shape node, and they used ball, not node. Okay. Cool. That's not a very good position to make it at 200, 200, but. Whatever. Um, it started right there, then went to 250, 300, 250, and back to 200. So that's the center point, or that's the axis that it moves around on. So if I said position, let's see what happens if I do node.position is equal to 100, 100. Uh, I can't do that. This CG point make. So it took 100, 100 and moved it 200, 200 from that point. Okay. 
so that's it for this tutorial and for the series, I believe. Um, I'll be coming out with a uh, some game development or how to make some simple games with Sprite View or Sprite Kit soon, and I'll also be coming out with some uh, a basics of Objective C videos. So if you didn't know that already or haven't picked it up by now, then you can go and watch those. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.